Yesterday's prophecies, today's headlines. This is the Hal Lindsey Report. And now, Hal Lindsey. Good evening and welcome to this edition of the Hal Lindsey Report. Most Americans haven't heard of the refugee scandal going on right now in Twin Falls, Idaho. And it is unfolding in scores of other U.S. cities being inundated by refugees from Muslim nations. For the most part, these refugees are not happy to be in America. They are angry and frustrated. Twin Falls citizens have been spat upon by their new neighbors. There have been numerous reports of threats. At a grocery store, one of the refugees spat on a local woman and told her, your God is nothing, Allah is everything. Not long ago, there was a media storm in the Twin Falls area over three refugee boys accused of raping a five-year-old girl. Police did not give details because the victim and all three boys are underage. With the help of some in the media, officials are trying to downplay it. The Idaho statesman ran an article with the headline, Story of Syrian Refugees Raping Idaho Girl is Wrong. Prosecutor says, That seemed to dismiss the whole report until it was realized that the boys accused of rape are not from Syria, but Sudan and Iraq. Carefully worded statements such as this weren't making the incident go away. So the federal government stepped in and using another tactic, subversion of basic constitutional rights. The U.S. Attorney for Idaho, Wendy Olson, threatened the citizens of Twin Falls with prosecution for even talking about the refugee problem or a possible rape in their community. She said, the spread of the false information or inflammatory or threatening statements about the perpetrators or the crime itself reduces public safety and may violate federal law. That doesn't sound like the America I grew up in. Law professor Eugene Bullock wrote in the Washington Post, the prosecutor, a prosecutor backed by the might of the federal government, is not just condemning threatening statements. She is equally condemning inflammatory statements about the perpetrators or the crime, as well as the spread of false information. There is no First Amendment exception for inflammatory statements. It looks like an attempt to chill constitutionally protected speech through the threat of federal prosecution. In June, the United States accepted a record number of Syrian refugees. The Christian community in Syria is being decimated by ISIS. But unbelievably, only eight of the refugees were Christians. Not 8%, but eight individuals. 99% of the refugees were Muslims. <laughs> 